Hi, there's Summer from Spitfire Audio and Diselex has been inspired by this year's releases, some of which I've been really looking forward to and I'm sure a lot of you as well, Blade Runner and the amazing Stranger Things. So an obvious library for me to go to was the Martin Ware Library. Now he's one of the founding members of the Human League, an absolute synth guru, and some of the presets that have been curated for this uh, include the Cork 700, the Jupiter 8 and the Roland System 100. Then there is the Bernard Herman Library, which also has a synth section in there, and the Euphon, which is one of Christian Hansen's beautifully haunting, glassy-sounding instruments. And if I remember correctly, I think there's only one of those in the UK. So going into Martin Ware, you have this GUI layout that allows you to play around with different signal paths. You can add some effects over here. There's the ADSR and some wobbles as well, which are basically different filters that you can apply. Let's just listen to some of the sounds that I've used. It's a really great full-bodied sound with this cool sweep going on, similar to this one. So you can tell I turned up the release all the way up, but I'll come back to that later. There's another really cool sound that I liked. Which I've then also layered with the U-phone. And this is how the start sounds. I then wanted to have an arpeggiated sound in there using this patch. And I actually added chorus to that as well. Going through my pieces, I seem to have put it on to, yep, most of my patches. I also layered the arpeggiated sound with this one. So the reason why I put on the release so high is because I wanted to have these sounds fading out really slowly whilst the arpeggiated line is coming in really gradually. So it's this really nice crossfade, giving space for the melody to come in in bar 7. For the next section, I used some Bernard Herman strings, and we have this really cool octave patch. And you also get the rest of the orchestra in here with some really typical Bernard Herman S combinations. For example, there's a trumpet and a xylophone patch but I went straight to the synth section and left those out using this eyeball pad patch. For which I actually turned on the wobble here without it sounds like that. And then I also automated a wobble, which means I went into automation in Logic, turned this onto latch, and then if I press play and move this about, it automatically syncs and you have it coming up here in the drop down menu bar, which you can select. And then if you wanted to, you can also then manually adjust if need be. Don't forget to turn this back on to read. I also added some rhythmic elements to it with some short synth sounds. And 
and later on I have a slight counter rhythm coming in. Going back to this sound, I used this as a bass, but I realized that everything was getting a little bit more dense and I didn't want to have everything clustered together in the same spot. So something that helps creating space is panning. So I got up the direction mixer and logic. And then I did the same thing as I did with the wobble. I automated it. So again, I went into automation, turned this onto latch, press play, moved the dial about and it automatically synced. And it would also come up in the drop down menu here, selected it and then manually adjusted how I wanted the pan to move. And that's the section sounding all together. I just continued with the melody line throughout some of the other sounds and for the ending I just thinned it out a little bit, taken out some of the sounds. Um, however, I didn't want to have a fade out on arpeggiated line so I have a rather abrupt ending over here with another sound sort of rounding it up at the end. So just to show you what I mean. <laughs> And that's pretty much everything there is to it. So let's listen to the whole thing together. Really quick and easy sounds to play with. Thank you for watching.